Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. We are back on Graceland. And I think I did a little bit of work offline on the animals. I've been spending a lot of time with the animals. And I did a little bit of work. I finished some of the grass. Uh, I did a little bit of the other miscellaneous things. Pick. I still got a lot of stuff to pick up, a lot of slurry. That kind of thing. Uh, I've got some manure to pick up. And what else did I do? I I used thing one and thing two. And I've been kind of chipping away at the silage. I've got more silage than I know what to do with. I did empty the mixing uh, mixed rations and filled it back up again. So it's making mixed rations. The animals need a lot of work still. But I have a harvest to do too. I added a few mods. Um, what else? What else did I do? Oh, right. I did uh, add those. I'm going to take part of them out. I, I did uh, a little bit of a spotlight on these Taurus trucks, uh, tractors. I'm going to get rid of the color ones. I don't want to muddy up my mod list, and I don't care for the color ones. If you saw the... Um, the quick little spotlight I did on this. The color ones, they change the color of the tractor, but that also matches the color to the interior. And it just kind of doesn't look good to me. It made it look like a cartoon tractor or something. It was just too much. So if you had a blue tractor and it's blue inside and out, everything on it's blue. It sounds like an Eiffel song or something. Anyway, um, I'm going to get rid of that. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, I'm going to keep the mod in my list on my computer but I don't want to add it into a, to the map because I don't plan on using it. I'm going to keep these though. I like them. They drive nice uh, and it gives you a wide variety of uh, 300 horsepower, 420, 540, and 660. So you've got from a mid-range tractor up to a pretty powerful one. That's kind of nice. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I wanted to show you. I've, I've done this in a couple of different maps now already I told you about a mod that I'm trying out uh, it's called field status and every time I show you I've already installed it on the map this one I have not so I want to show you what it does when it first starts so you hit the uh, asterisk key on the keypad the key number pad and it brings up the field status and then if you notice, it's initializing on the bottom there, uh, field 21, 22. It's looking at all the fields on your map. You can set it to auto scan on or off. Now it's initializing the scan. And there, it's, there it is. And it shows you which ones of the fields I own. I own 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And it gives you the status on them. It gives you what they are. Let's look at field number one. If we just if we just put our mouse uh, arrow on it, it opens up the other window there. It's cultivated 0.8%. And again, I went over this in another uh, briefly in an in another episode. Can't remember which one. Oklahoma, I think. But if you don't get every little patch of stubble off the field, it's going to have a small percentage. Uh, that's not been cultivated. It just have to really super clean the field up, which is nigh on to silly, you know, doing. Uh, it, it it's just kind of a waste of time to get every little piece of stub off the field. It is 99.92 percent seeded. Again, if you miss miss just a little bit of a patch of the ground, it's not going to be 100 percent. It did 100 percent fertilize it because this fertilizer spreads, you know, beyond your tractor. And it shows me that I have barley. Now, what the six means, I don't know. There's barley, it says six in brackets. I don't know what that means. I haven't read all the instructions on this thing. There's there's actually quite a bit to the, the uh, mod other than what I'm using it for. So, and again, you know, it's showing me that field four has maize on it, or you, know, you call it maize, we call it corn. Um, I have to say that because there was a commercial. There used to be a commercial about that. Um, um, a lady came out and said, 
We call it maize. You call it corn. Right. You say tomato, we say tomato. That kind of thing. Anyway, this I'm trying this out only because half the time I'm going into my map saying, okay, what was what did I have planted on on that field? What did I what what was I do? Did I fertilize that field or have I have I does it need cultivating? Well, now I've got an easy way to find out whether you know what what the status of that field is. I don't know if it's that useful or not, but I'm going to use it and see what happens here. It does show that. There are 49 fields. Ten of them I own. One of them is undefined. I don't know what that means. I bet it's one of those ones that might have grass on it. I don't know. Anyway, let's get on with it. I'm going to do a little bit of the animal stuff while I'm harvesting. I want to get the harvest going again. The animals are kind of in a funny stage. And what I mean by that is I pretty much got them all ready to go. I do have some slurry and manure to, to still pick up on some of these. And I do have a little bit of grain issues I need with some of these. And if you notice, I'm getting down on young animals. So I've got quite a few to sell. But I'm getting low on the young animals, which means I have to purchase again. But I don't know if I'm going to do that right away. See, I'm down to two young chickens. i got 140 and 138. i got quite a few to sell. Lambs are the same thing. I have only have four in each uh, barn. But for the most part, they're ready to go. The beef need grain, so I do have a little bit more work to do. I still have slurry to pick up. I, I've picked up most of the manure. So I've got some odds and ends to do there. The other thing, let's see. I, If you notice, I do have uh, the drive mod drive control mod I always forget the name of that stupid mod for some reason probably because I don't really like it that much but I'm still determined to try to use it because so many people just are in love with it uh, but anyway I do have it on here I do have a question on that if anybody can help me with this now you'll notice that I have updated course play to the developers version 0.0119 uh, 4.01 has been out for almost two years, but in just the last couple months, they did uh, beef a couple things up on it, and so it's got a different uh, developer's number on it there. Um, Auto Tractor, I also have the newer development version of that. But here's my issue with the drivetrain or drive control. Okay, let me let me just grab a tractor here. Doesn't matter which one, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, if we look, I'm only bringing course play up so I can have my mouse. If you look down here, I'm not using the full function of drive control. There's a lot of it that I don't care to have on my, that I just won't use. I don't want them. Uh, one of them is there's a shuttle that shows up right in this corner here. Well, I have a, a gas pedal and a brake. I don't need and a shifter and all that kind of stuff. I don't need to have a shuttle that selects forward and reverse. I don't I don't need that, so I don't have that installed. A couple other things I don't have installed. I don't have the wither wheels, that kind of thing. I don't like any of the terrain stuff that comes with it. Mainly I got it for the transmission or the locking of the axles. Uh, four four wheel drive, uh, locking the front axles, locking the back axles. So if I get stuck, I've got a little bit more poop to it. But here's my issue. And I'm, and I'm looking for help from anybody that knows if I'm doing something wrong or, or what. But I'm on this tractor right here. If I hit shift and the number four, I get four-wheel drive. There's the front axle. There's the rear axle. And you see that it shows up, down, shows up right down here. Okay, that's the main reason why I have this mod. But since I have this mod, I was going to give the... Superman another try because if you remember I had a little trouble with Superman slipping and also it would get up to the grain dump and it would get stuck so I thought okay if I put four-wheel drive and drivetrain on this but look I'm hitting shift I'm hitting four five and six and nothing is happening why does it not put four-wheel drive on this truck does it only do tractors and it doesn't consider the truck a tractor or let me 
pull up one of the other trucks. Okay, here's this truck. And let me start it up. And again, it's not letting me select. So does does the drive control not work on trucks? Because I thought it did. I mean, if it does, I can't get it to, to do it. So I don't know what to do because that's the main reason why I have this drive control mod. But if it only works on tractors, that doesn't do me that much good when it's my trucks that are slipping. What else does it not work on? Let's see. wonder if it works on this. Nope, doesn't work on that. It does work on the combines, it looks like. Obviously, it works on tractors. Let's see. Does it work on my pickup truck? Yes, it works on my pickup truck. It work on the Kenworth? It works on the Kenworth. Interesting. Works on the Kenworth. So is it just a certain mod problem? Let's see. It doesn't work on this mod. That's my favorite truck, too. Ah, let's shut that off. I'm not going to use it. Well, does it work on combines? It doesn't work on my combines. Does it work on this case? It does. Okay. So it doesn't work on my combines. Now, those combines are a modded combine. Anyway, if anybody's got any ideas on that drive control, if they could give me a holler. Because I don't know. It, at this point... I got it to try to work with the um, the trucks, but if it doesn't work for those, you know what I should do is rent an in-game truck and see if it works on that. Let me rent one of those. Let's see if I can find it. Too much equipment. Jeez, look at that. Come on. Did I already go past it? Oh, maybe I didn't rent it. Let me see. Uh-oh. I don't, I don't think I followed through on the rental. All right. Fine. Be that way. All right, let's uh, try it again. Let's try to do the man rent default color. I don't remember getting to this point, so maybe I actually did not rent it. Okay, there, there it is. Now let's see if it works on this. And it does, it does work on the generic truck. So I don't get it, I just don't get it. All right, let's get rid of that. I don't need it. Okay, so, well, let's just get on with this. All right, where's my combines? There they are. Okay, let's put this in to... And then that three, put this in two. All right, let's get these things started. Okay, let's just get started on field number. One and two, I guess, with these. This is a modded combine. I'm using it because I want the bigger grain bin. This is the mo this is a combine that if I floored it, it'll do 120 miles an hour. I don't want it for that. 
and I have the vanilla header on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, there's some damage. I had the vanilla header on it. Come on. I'm having trouble here. I'm going to have to have it repaired. This thing repaired before I even get started. So since I have the vanilla header on this, it's gonna work like any other uh, vanilla combine. The only difference is it's got a larger bin on it. Oh, let's... Uh yeah, let's... Uh Put the oh shoot! I mean, do that. Stop it. Yeah, we need to do that, and then we need to do this. And then let's see. What do we want to do? Let's do auto wash, I guess. Let it go to work. Okay, let's go grab the other one. As soon as I get these things going, I will uh, start working on a little bit of the animals again. I do notice when I use the drive control that the equipment kind of bounces around more than it did. Which is okay, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't expect the thing to just stay perfectly still while it's driving down the road. But it seems to have a nervous twitch to it. And I don't mind it, I guess, it's okay. But if it's not going to work for my truck, then I don't understand. Maybe that's what I got it for. Or at least why I wanted to use it. that away and let's jump over oh shoot sorry sorry pardon me Right now, I need to get a couple of these big boys uh, going here. Let's see, can I get out? Yeah, I can get out. Alright, start this up. And let's see if drive control works on this. Yeah, it does. This is a modded tractor. Seems to work okay on it. If anybody knows anything about the drive control, if you could help me out, I'd appreciate it. I did go into the config and I turned a lot of the stuff off that I didn't want. I didn't want any of the cameras that are on the, the uh, spouts. Uh, I didn't really care for anything that tried to control the steering 
because I use the wheel and I want that to control it. And I took off the terrain. If there's any kind of thing that affected the terrain, I turned that off. I turned off the shuttle. Mixing station's full already. Okay, so let's get this guy. Overload field nine, I don't think so. Let's get rid of that. Let's do overload field one. Okay. And then I want it to do something here. Find combine six miles an hour. Activated pathfinding. Beacon on the street. Hey, let's just turn the beacons on all the time, huh? Let's do... Don't need the offset. Always use four-wheel drive? Really? I didn't know that was an option. Okay, side offset. Start at... I'm going to have this thing starting a little bit lower. Let's start this thing at... 30% and see what happens and then drive the course. Alright, let's go grab another one. this guy down to field number two. I'm anxious to try a couple of those Taurus tractors out on the in the field. I, I seem to use this one pretty much exclusively and I don't like to do that. I like to have a variety of equipment. And I'm hoping that that big 660 or whatever it was, Taurus is uh, powerful enough to to run these overloaders. I think it should be, but I want to give it a shot. Wow, we're bouncing around in this thing. All right, well, it looks like he's setting up properly. So, let's get over here. And we're going to do the same thing, pretty much. I want to do... Hey, this one's already at 30. Okay, good, good. Um, no course loaded. That's fine. Let's put in overload field number 2. And drive the course and let him go. Now, let's see. Wanna, what else do we have planted? We have barley, 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 barley. No, field four has maize. Okay, so I don't really need, I don't think, any more silage. So I think I might, I might just go ahead and harvest the corn for a crop. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. So, if that's the case, I'm going to have to have more combines. Right? Right, 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 right. Because I don't think these things do anything but thrash. Do they? They thrash and mow, I think. So, let's see. Let me... I've got plenty of money. I've got... I had... Started off with seven million. So I have plenty of money. Should we purchase another couple of these or rent them? I can purchase them, they're pretty cheap. Let's make them a different color though. Um, what color should we do? We can make them yellow or orange rather than the standard red. We could do them white, that's the default color, white. Yeah, let's make some yellow ones. Let's 
I get a couple of those. Okay, now for headers though, we need um, corn headers. Do we have any corn headers? Do I own any corn headers? I can't remember. I don't think I do because I wasn't doing them as a cash crop corn. I wasn't doing corn as a cash crop. So I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't see any. Okay, so let's uh, go to the shop and let's go to headers and let's find us the corn headers. Now, wait a minute. I do have, well, let's just see. This one is 12 meters. Is that the biggest one? I think it is. What do I have in... Uh, let me get back out of here. Let's go to mods. See what I have in mods. Okay, so those are for the Terraflex. That's for the roster cell mash. However you pronounce that. Pretty sure I just butchered it. So I don't have anything for the corn. So we'll go back to the regular mods and just get the regular standard uh, corn header this one here and we need a couple of those uh, let's see we made that did we make that I think we made it this color okay let's go pick those up going on here is that just the way that was planted must be and see that's what I mean if you miss a little bit that thing's gonna show that it's not a hundred percent seeded okay so yeah Ooh, pretty pretty I didn't realize it was this late in the day I should have got an earlier start at this harvest now wait a minute what's that combine doing over there Okay, so we're headed to field four, which is, is that the one where I did the, I think that's the one where I did the um, potatoes. We'll find out here in a second. While I'm looking at that though, what else do I have? I have barley. Okay, hang on. Where'd my mouse go? Here's my mouse. Okay, so... Uh, let's see. Barley, barley, barley. Barley, barley. I have one field of corn. That's it. I should have only bought one damn... Oh, well. I should have only bought one combine. Well, I can fix that. I can put one guy on corn and just get another regular header. But is four? This is three. Four is a pretty good sized field, if I'm not mistaken. It probably wouldn't hurt to put two combines on it. Whoa! Slow down, Slim. All right. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to do that. I did that a purpose. Why? I don't know. Oh, now I can't hook up to it. There we go. All right. Here's what I meant to do. Unfold it. That's what I meant to do. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Auto combine. Auto auto wash. Go to it. Do that. All right. Let's go get the other one. But before we do, let's put this in group two with the rest of the combines, and let's. Uh, Let's go find the other one and we'll put it in group two also. And then let's go to these and we're going to actually, I think what I'm going to do is take these out and we'll just unassign them for now. That way they're not kind of in my way. All right, and then we need to get another truck, not this one. Let's do one of these grain trucks. Well, we'll just take this one. Now, depending on how the Superman works out and whether I can get the drive control to work on it, it seems to me like I've talked to, to a couple people that use the Superman that we're using the drive control. Why it's not working for me, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense, but unless I've turned something off in the config that I need, but it's working on tractors and it's working on some trucks, just not the Superman. Okay, so I want to do, let's get rid of that, and we're gonna be doing a uh, field four truck route, field three and four grain, and drive the course and see what it's gonna do here. Where are you going? Getting all squarely on me. Yeah, I think it'll pick it up here. It's just a matter of whether it gets stuck underneath that thing. Uh-oh, trouble. Okay, let's just get out of the way. Okay, let's get this guy. Oh, wait, wait. I need to get the other combine going. That one. Let's get this one going. Right, let's run this guy down to field number four. And what I'll do now that I have four combines, I can uh, I can just buy a couple more regular headers and have them ready. When this cornfield is done, I'll move these guys over onto the rest of the barley. I've been thinking about sugar beets, but I don't know what to do with them. I've got enough potatoes to feed the animals, and that's about all I need potatoes for, unless I do potatoes and sugar beets as a cash crop, but I think there's probably better ways of making money, because it takes so long to, to, um, to harvest the beets and the potatoes. Well, you know, it doesn't really take that long, because I do have, uh, I use uh, special mods that help with that. All 
All right, let's do some auto washing here. And I still need a couple more. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to buy one of those new tractors. Not there. I need to go into mods and try and make sure and see if it works. I want to see if the big boy of the bunch, this one here, the 660, 18660 Taurus. Let's see if this, do I do a default color on that? Um, yeah, why not? I'll do default. And do I need, uh, will it take a, a, a weight? That's another question. Does it, can it handle a weight on it? It can. Okay, so let's, let's get a weight for it too. Uh, X, X tech and a Fent. Where did the X techs come from? Interesting. I don't remember where those came from. Is that from a mod? I know this is a mod, and I know that came with the, with that uh, Fent tractor that I was using. Let's just do one of these and start this tractor up. Wait for the preheat. Oh, sorry. Just a little bit too quick on the draw there, wasn't it? These things drive really smooth. Smooth. I really like them so far. We'll see how they perform. Yeah, it's got a green tinted window now. I don't know whether that's part of this mod or if that's part of the daylight mod that does the tinting because I noticed that some of the other rigs look like they have tinted windshields and I didn't notice that before. All right, we wanna add this to group number three while I'm thinking about it. I see all the jumpy jumpies on the inside when you're looking out the the mirror. I, is that part of the is that part of the drive control mod that does that? I don't remember all my tractors jumping and bouncing like this. I Man, it's not that I don't like it. I I think it's kind of cool, but I'm just curious as to if that's part of the uh, drive control mod. Well, the other thing I didn't check on these Tauruses, do they get dirty? I don't know. We're going to find out. Now, let's see, we're gonna do um, combine, no, we're gonna do an overload course. And we're going to call it, um, well, it's already made. This is field four right there. And then, this is at 50, I'm gonna pop that down to 30, and I'm gonna pop this down to 32. Just, just for giggles and see what happens. And then let's drive this course and see what happens there. Let me make sure these guys are, oh, he's in the way again. Let me do the same thing here. Let's pop this down to 30.
and let's see what these are at. They're at tw they're only at 20 so far. So I'm hoping because the bin is so big, I want them to pick it up early. I don't want it to wait until the bin is completely full because just because the the combine has a large bin doesn't mean that these have a big enough bin although they do they have a very good size bin in them but I don't want them to I want them to work I don't want them to sit and wait till the last minute okay Taurus has reached its waiting point really the Taurus has huh and where would that be Oh, there's no truck here. What? Um, that's not right. Okay, where's the truck? What is this guy doing? Truck F3 and 4 grain. F3 and 4 grain. Okay. Let's see. He's in group four already. Um, I don't know what's happening here. Why is this guy overload field four? Um, let me get rid of that and take another look and see if we didn't have... There, there's two of them. Let's select this one. Overload F4 to grain truck. Why are there two? Well, actually, there's three. Let's see what this one does. This one looks promising. Make sure it matches up here. And it's a little, well, I guess it'll be okay. It's a little bit close to the rig, isn't it? I don't want to match it. I want to match it up to a combine. So let's see which one we're following here. Uh, I don't think it's this one. It's that one. Okay. There you go. Now let's find the other one. We don't have the other one yet, do we? Well, let's find the tractor. All right, let's use... Uh, well, just use this one, I guess. I don't want to. I don't want to buy another one of those Tauruses till I find out how well it's going to work with that overloader.
And I'm curious to find out if they get dirty. I did not do an in-depth review of that tractor. I just did a cursory overlook just to see whether it would be something I might want to use. I do those once in a while. Uh, there's some of them I've done. I said, well, okay, this might be an interesting tractor for somebody else, but I'm not going to use it. And other times, I'll just do a cursory look and say, okay, this is something I want to try out. Okay, so that guy's hooked up to that rig. Let's go find the other one. And we're going to do overload. I think it was that one. Let me get out of here, see if I can find the other combine. There it is. I think it's this one. Looks like it. Because I'm getting pretty close. Alright, let's do that. Okay, so let's grab the other one of those. Is that running? I don't want that running. No, wait a minute. No, it's fine. Not that one. Oh, shoot. I was wondering if he was going to be in the way. And he is. Okay, this is the one I'm looking for. Whoops. I didn't know I had it running. We got some more manure to pick up. I thought I'd maybe do a little bit of that while I'm letting these guys harvest. Um, I did a little bit of work. Actually, I did quite a little bit of work, uh, time-wise, but it didn't really appear to be all that much work. It takes a long time to empty those silage silos. I got more silage than I managed that I could shake a stick at, so I don't need to do any more silage. I only wanted the silage to feed the animals and to make mixed feed, which I have plenty, plenty, plenty of. So I probably won't do any more of that for quite some time. And I think I already did this. So let's run over and see how much are in the cattle. Not very much. I did this already, didn't I? Let's go over to the lambs and see if I've done that. And it looks like I... Maybe not. Okay, so I didn't do the lambs, I don't think. Little lambs, they don't poo much, do they? They sure make a lot of noise, though. I wonder what that green glow is over there. See it over there? Way up, just straight ahead, top of the screen. Looks like... Uh, it's like some alien landed. There's what I mean about that uh, daylight mod. When it gets to be uh, dusk, what, look at the shadows. They're way up on the wall. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Uh, that's the only problem I have with it. 
with that mod is that it's not that big a problem, but it just looks weird. Right, let's check on these combines. Okay, he's got 30%, so let's see what happens. Okay, he got emptied. So there must be somebody's working. 28%, they're getting close. And he's stuck again, doggone it. I just noticed that one of these trucks, this one should be in in uh, group four and not group three. All right. Let's move Mr. Stinky down the road. And I can't remember whether I picked up the poo from the chickens. We'll find out here in a sec. I don't know what it is. The, the pig noise doesn't bother me. The cow noise doesn't necessarily bother me, but the sheep, oh, this drives me nuts. Sounds like the alarm of a car. All right, let's go check on these bad boys. Uh, overload field for grain truck. Why is it stopping here though? It shouldn't stop here. Let me stop him. Oh, because it's not... Wait a minute. Let me see here. Okay, that is overloader type. That is combine type. He was on the wrong thing. He needs to be on this one. Okay. What about these guys? What are they on? He's on... Um, he's on... Let me stop this. Now he's on the correct one. Okay, and this guy. Is on the correct one. Oh, the Taurus is in traffic. Okay. Let's go find out what's going on. Oh, it's fine. He's just waiting his turn. It's getting dark on me, too. So I'm going to have to uh, end the farm day. And we'll uh, start fresh in the morning. Maybe 5.30, 6 o'clock. I'm going to call it an episode here, and we will do that. When we come back, it'll be 6 in the morning, and we'll continue on. Hope you had fun. Uh, give it a like if you did, share it with a friend, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you on the farm in the next episode. Happy farming.